So when I was little, I was a liar. But because I was little, I told little lies. No, I didn't drop my baby brother on his head. No, I didn't have three pieces of birthday cake. No, my sister and I didn't sneak away from dinner to secretly water the rows and rows of sweet corn that we'd planted in the front yard. As I got older, my lies got bigger. Yes, I did my homework. Yes, I cleaned my room. Yes, I wrote a thank you note to grandma about the $80 Benetton sweater I bamboozled her into buying me at the mall last Tuesday. And sometimes my lies were even a little dangerous. I lied to the minister at church camp when he said, didn't you hear the dinner bell? No. I'd been down at the river with an older counselor. I had heard the dinner bell, but it's really hard to interrupt the kissing you're not supposed to be doing with the guy you're not supposed to be kissing to tell him it's taco night. <laughs> but over and over, throughout all of these, I internalized this message, this one message. I knew lying made me bad. Every book from the Berenstain Bears to the Bible taught me that. Good girls told the truth. Bad girls lied. But other than trying to tell the truth and feeling bad when I lied, I wasn't really sure what I could do about it. Maybe I would outgrow the habit. Then I became an adult and started lying about my age. Hi, I'm Anne Marie. I'm 29 years old. How old are you? And then I became a parent. And my kids started lying to me. Did you paint the dog blue? No, mommy, said my oldest, holding a teal-tipped paintbrush in her hand. Did you cut your own hair? No, mommy, said my middle daughter, sitting right next to a pile of blonde curls that went up to here. Who ate the last of the chocolate cake? Maybe it was aliens, said my son through chocolate frosted lips. And I looked at these little liars in my house. <laughs> and I realized they weren't bad. They weren't evil or malicious. They were kids. And they were curious. And they were playful. And they were hungry. And they were afraid they were going to get in trouble, just like I used to feel. And they weren't sure what would happen if they showed up and told me their truth. So I started asking myself, how important is it for us as parents to expect our kids to tell us the truth? Now, before anyone tries to stand up and set me on fire, I know that as a parent, it's my job to teach them don't shoplift candy bars and don't graffiti that guy's garage. And that guy with the midlife crisis convertible, don't sideswipe that and drive away. I'm supposed to teach them how to be good citizens. But I think in order for our, our kids to show up in honesty, we also need to make room for some of their lies. Because let's face it, all y'all and me, we tell lies. Right? Let's just do a show of hands right now. Let's say in the last, say, six weeks. I won't even look. Raise your hand <laughs> if in the last six weeks you might have might have, could have told a lie. Just won't even, OK, see, I lied. I looked, right? There's a bunch of you, right? Some of you are lying right now. We, we all tell lies. It doesn't make us liars. The University of Notre Dame did a study that said the average American adult lies 11 times in one week. 11 times. We tell lies. I don't think we're bad. Because it's what you do after the lie that really matters. I cried when my dad mowed the lawn and mowed down my sweet corn, wept. And he said to me, why didn't you tell me? I would have put up a fence. We would have made a garden. And for years after that, my dad and my sister and I planted seeds every spring until the spring he passed away. 
To this day, I can't look at a tangle of sugar snap peas or those golden tassels atop a row of sweet corn without thinking of my dad. What you do after the lie matters. After we toweled off the blue dog, we gave my kid more paint and said, here's an easel. Here's some more brushes and a poster board. Paint, create. And she did. She made birthday cakes and sunsets. And we hung those canvases in our house. And we gifted them to her teachers and friends. We told her that what she created mattered. Because what we did after the lie, it mattered. Because not all lies, they're not all the same. You're not always lying because you're afraid. You're not always lying because you're a cheat. Sometimes you're lying out of courtesy for someone else. If I invite you to my teen's birthday party, and you show up with dinosaur underpants, and you ask her, do you like the gift? She's going to say yes. She's lying. She does not like those trashy dinosaur underpants that you brought for her. But she cares about your feelings. She cares about you. She appreciates that you showed up. Let's look for the truth in the lie. We've all done it. Our best friend, she comes over. She has gotten bangs. Do you think they look good? Yes. What do we mean? No. Her face is too round. They don't. But what's the truth in that lie? The truth is you're my friend. I love you. I know you're nervous about this new hairdo. I got you. I will show up for you. What is the truth in our lie? Because sometimes it takes the lie for us to tiptoe in to the truth. When I lied to my grandmother about that $80 Benetton sweater, what was I really saying? I was saying, Grandma, I'm not popular enough. I don't have the right clothes. My family shops at the Sears surplus store. I, I was so nervous about looking right and being right. And I thought that if I looked right on the outside, it would make me right on the inside. My grandmother saw all that truth long before I did. So look, in the, look for the truth in your lies. When I lie to you and tell you I'm 29 instead of in my 40s, what am I really saying? I'm saying I'm nervous. You guys, I was home with my kids a long time. What if my dreams don't happen? What if my ambitions for myself slip through my fingers? What if I'm too old? So look for the truth inside of those lies. Because I have a suspicion if we don't hold space especially when it comes to our children for their lies, they're not going to show up for our, their truth. I never told anyone until today about that camp counselor, how he was 17 and I was 14, and how I was confused and flattered and having all kinds of big feelings. But because they didn't hold space for my lie, I never told anyone the truth. So the next time your partner or your child or your friend shows up in a lie, hold space. Because that truth is going to tiptoe and follow. You told a lie, you're not a liar. And it turns out, neither am I. <laughs>